Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon. We are here on our, I think this is going to be our last episode here. Yes, it is. Our last episode on Sonata Springs. And I think I want to build a go-kart ride and then some sort of transport ride uh, to go about our lake here, just to kind of get people around. I know it's the very last episode, and that won't do too much for them, but I want to do it nonetheless, because to me, the final product of the park is what matters. doesn't matter how early on I build it. Uh, it's the final product that is important to me. So uh, we're going to try to do it. It's going to be sort of small, uh, just in this area over here, and then I'm planning on having the entrance and exit run over here and connect up underground uh, to this walkway here. Uh, so you can see it's all flat right there. So I can just run it into the hill here and then or into the side of the hill here and then connect it up right there. And that should work pretty nicely. Um, this took me about all of 10 seconds looking at my park to see this spot and be like, absolutely. Yes, this is where this is going. So this is where this is going. <laughs> That's kind of how that logic works. Uh, can we get around this without destroying those trees? We can. This one's... No, it's not going to have to go. Awesome. Uh, we're probably going to make this pretty short and sweet. Uh, I don't want to take too much time building this, nor do I want them to have an extremely long ride to go on. Uh, sometimes that can be not the greatest thing in the world. At least for making money. So, which is what we're trying to do. So we'll do two declines here, and then we'll go right back up and end it. And I think that will work out pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna run into the edge of our park here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, so. Uh, what can I do here? Turn it. Hmm, okay, never mind. We're not gonna drop it down. We're just gonna keep it level turn up flat goodbye tree nope <laughs> gotta change that yet again because I don't want to have to get rid of any trees that I don't have to kind of sticking with the theme of this park or at least that's what we've been doing thus far okay so our entrance we can do right here and I'm gonna do my exit two tiles away right there um, the pathways are going to be interesting. So that needs to go flat, flat, and then this will need to be risen up by one. And our entrance, I think flat, flat, and then up by one. And I think I did that right. If I did, go me. If I didn't, boo me. Okay, so far so good. And then I don't know how where this is gonna line up height-wise. Looks like it needs to go up, not that direction up is the land in the way probably can I go this direction and then up how far underground are we I'm not sure if this is even gonna work razor lower land first are we going over it now there we go Okay, that means our our exit's going to have to do some strange things as well to just avoid conflicting with that. And I think... Is that underneath it? Or right next to it? I think it's right next to it. Perfect! Okay, that works really nicely. We're going to do our own mechanic for this one just because I don't want to have to deal with fiddling with underground stuff. And then our own handyman as well. Not that I anticipate much badness happening here as far as filth goes, but. Uh, and I forgot to uncheck Mograss for this dude. Where did he go? Uh, this guy? Is that who I just placed? Why is he handyman eight? That makes no sense. Whatever. Oh, I think... I don't know. I might have just selected one that already had the ability... No, I need to close this first. I need to adjust this. I might have selected a handyman that already had uh, 
the ability to just mow. Uh, I think three laps is kind of long, but three laps I think will be good. I think. Um, yeah, three laps will be fine. And then I like the red supports. That's kind of nice, but let's make this match because I think that looks kind of ugly right now. I think that looks kind of less ugly. Is anyone riding this thing? No, they're not. So as we always do in our parks, we start dropping the prices of everything towards the end because we lose money on them after a while. Go-karts one, we could probably charge at least, I'm gonna guess, $4. Uh, we won't know until everyone's through once. But yeah, different colors per car. I don't think I've ever changed that. I think this looks kind of cool. So you can, if you're watching, you can, I used to pick a car as a kid. I would be like, all right, my money's on green. Obviously red's gonna win this one, but. And the way go-karts works, I don't know if I've ever explained this, is they basically just, each car has a predetermined speed and then they all just randomly switch from the outside to the inside of the track. So, like if you're on a slower car, that's the quicker line right there. But if you swapped over, the inside is always going to be faster. So depending on where they switch, that's kind of what uh, changes who wins. But yeah, red won and he's lapping people. Okay, uh, we need a name for this. Let me come back to that in just a second. Let me see how this does first. Car ride. We could do cats on a car ride? I don't know if I've ever seen that. 497. Awesome. I was just under my guess, at least. Uh, okay, so we need a name. Go karts one, go karts. Um. G major <laughs> go karts. G major is a key. Very simple. G major go karts. And I'm guessing the line is already a little bit more than halfway full. So that's going to be fantastic. So yeah, short, simple, sweet go karts. Perfect. And then I actually want to take a look at what this uh, ride uh, change is. We're not going to do it, but I just kind of want to see it. And I can't see it. We'll do that as soon as we uh, complete our objective. Uh, if I forget to do that, please let me know in the comments and I'll come back to this park and show you guys what that is. But I'll try my best to remember to show you cat cars because that sounds kind of cool actually. But okay, we're going to do our... Are these trees in the right way? Yes, they are. Two, three, four... What? Oh, that little bush that I probably placed myself is in my way. Uh, actually, if we do this out one further, again, these bushes will be in our way, but we should be able to clear this or get close to clearing it or get not so close to clearing it. There we go. So we'll have to add some station on the back here. Uh, and I'm gonna try to build this kind of quick. So if it feels like I'm rushing, it's because I am. Uh, my goal for this is just to kind of go around the outside of our park. Uh, I think this park looks really nice and anytime we have a circular design for a park, I really like having some sort of transport ride to kind of, you know, tie it, tie it all together. Uh, we'll actually do an S-Bend to the right and it looks like we're gonna have to do another one. And I don't know how many stations I'm gonna do on this. I really don't. Um, it's looking like if we do yet another S-Bend to the right, we can go right down here. And that's gonna be really short. But if I actually do the station, how many pieces did I do back here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do the same, two, three, four, five, six. And then we should be able to keep going right over the path here. That's perfect. Uh, we'll need to... Actually, we'll keep this straight for a little bit. And then, is it trees in my way or is it the land? Trees, okay. Ah, dang it. Um, what can I do here? Can I S-bend to the right? Go straight one and then do... 
this piece to put me one tile further back. I can. Awesome. And then I don't know where I want to quite run this. I didn't really think about that before I started doing this. I just know I wanted it to have a lot of S-Bends, apparently. Uh, and just kind of connect our park up. I don't think we're going to do one everywhere. Uh, we might do another station here over the water. I think that could be kind of nice. Yeah, we'll do that. So let me back this off a couple. Uh, so we can get that turn in right there. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe we did. And then now we're just trying to get back to uh, the station. The original one. That's not very far apart. Uh, as the cry flows, as the crow flies. There we go. <laughs> what did I say? As the cry flows down your face. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as the crow flies, it's not very far. But if you're stuck on the footpath, that's actually quite a walk you got to go up here around all the way back through here and around through the hillside back over here it's a lot longer than it looks so and we're at seven so we can just drop it one and that should put us back where we need to be perfect that was a very very quick very easy build and i know whenever i do these i always do uh three Three station platforms, you don't have to do three. You can do one, you can do two. I just tend to like doing three for whatever reason. Uh, ask me and I couldn't give you my reasoning as to why, but I like it nonetheless. Okay, so the entrance is gonna actually have to go at the very back here, and then the exit will go right here. I'll show you what I have in mind for that in, a, actually the exit's gonna have to go right there think if I'm mapping that out correctly and then our last piece is over here and we'll have these connect up to the already existing path right here if I can find a bit that is on the same level that looks right now let's get the the path going for all of these before I forget kind of how I had these in mind or what I had in mind for these so because I do have a plan it might not be the best plan, but it is a plan, and that is better than no plan. You think I said the word plan enough right there? I think so. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go up this and flatten it out here. Sorry if it seems I'm going a lot quicker. Um, I don't mean to be. I just actually had a plan for this episode. Uh, usually when I come into my parks prior to each episode... I spend a little bit of time just kind of looking around, but with it being the end, I actually knew exactly how much time I had left and kind of what space I had left. Usually I have a lot more options as to where I could put something, but in this one, I don't really. Um, my options are not plentiful. So it makes it a lot easier to figure out what's going where. And this is what I had in mind for the exit. And that's why I had to bring it back one so that I could slope it and get it to where it needs to go. So, monorail is now done. Uh, do we want to do these monorail cars? I think we do. Can we get three cars per train? That would be cool. I don't know if we're going to be... That's fine. Sometimes I'm okay with losing uh, numbers of trains or cars per train. If it looks good, I mean, I think this is going to look nice. It's not a huge transport ride. It's more of a... It's more for show. Uh, where do these all start? At our first one? Yeah. So people will actually get on these. And I'm, I'm going to do full load for all of these. Because I think it's going to be popular enough to where we can. And people will still go on it. Um, so that one's almost ready to go. And it's cool because it's kind of like real life. If you ever see these type cars, some face forwards. The people in the front there are facing backwards, actually. The people going forwards are facing forwards. Crazy how that works, right? <laughs> okay, how much are we charging for this? A dollar? We'll do a dollar fifty. And I don't care what our test results are. We're going to stick with a dollar fifty. I don't feel like we need to charge people any more than that. Also, we have 27 grand to our name, so we most certainly don't need the money, but 
we're doing it. Or we're still going to charge him some money, just out of principle. Uh, okay, support colors. That's kind of nice looking. I don't think it looks good having the different tops and bottoms. Or at least, I think it looks fine doing them the same. Uh, and then the supports. What if we do white? I think that looks nice. I love doing white supports in the water. It makes them stand out. Sometimes it's nice to blend them in, but other times it's just as nice to make them a very stark contrast. So, and so far, I think this is doing pretty well. We have a line for each one, and this is our first one right here, I believe. It's coming up on its first lap. Uh, and what shall we name this? What have we already named some of our rides? Do we have... Okay, Monorail, Merry Round, Minnie Mouse, Minuet. We'll name this one after a person, actually. Mozart's... Monorail... Uh, montage. Mozart's Monorail Montage. I like it. I think it's nice. And then let's actually paint these as well. We'll do different colors per train. And I think these would look good in three different shades of green. I know that's what we did. Ooh, actually, we'll do white for all of these with a different shade of green for the roof. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Train two will be white with that green. And train three, I don't want to do the lime. So we'll do that. Not Actually, that looks nice on this. It doesn't look good on supports or other things usually. But in that instance, I think that color actually looks pretty nice. So... Mozart's monorail montage excitement 1.82 I really wasn't I really didn't care what I set my uh, or what the excitement and intensity ratings of it was because it doesn't matter it is at the end of October here we are almost or we're just over halfway done with October which means this park is coming to an end and it's coming to an end very quick did we get anything else we could build? <gasps> we got a balloon stall and I didn't build it? Oh my goodness, guys. Shame on me. If I ever get a balloon stall, is that where it needs to be? We're going to do blue balloons. There, I did it again. Blue balloons. Just for the sake of time. I want some guests to have balloons in this park. Oh boy. If I ever forget to build a balloon stall, if you guys ever see it show up down here and I don't build it in that same episode, I always mean to because I love me some balloon stalls if you guys know anything about me. So if I ever don't do that, please, 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 please comment down below in the comment section. Be like, yo, Dr. D-Dub, you completely missed your balloon stalls. Build them yesterday. And I will. Uh, that is right next to that one. I don't really care. <laughs> I want balloon stalls everywhere. Can you tell I like my balloon stalls? <laughs> I wish you could change the color of the stall itself. Uh, I like the red and yellow, but sometimes it's... I don't know. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Sometimes it's just not what I'm wanting. You know what? We're actually going to make Mozart's monorail montage for free. That's awful English, but I'm aware of it. We're going to make it for free so that all of our guests can take a look at our our beautiful park. I think it came out very nicely. Uh, this section over here, very crowded, but it's also all of our crazy rides. That uh, Tuning Fork Terror, I think, might be my favorite ride in this park. It just looks so intense with all the supports. But yeah, guys, this is this is our park. Sonata Springs. Let me know what you guys thought of kind of theming it. Um, there's some parks. I have a plan for uh, probably next month at some point. So if any of you are still watching in a month, which I hope you are, uh, I've got some things planned, but it has something to do with the seasons and holidays in real life that might happen to be in October. Hint, hint. Uh, and there's some decorations in this game that coincide with that. But, you know, I wanted to do a musical-themed park, and I could really only theme my ride names uh, because adding, you know, candy-looking houses and mushrooms and chess pieces 
doesn't really scream music, and neither does Roman... What is this called? Roman... Classical Roman theming objects, or statues of horses and dolphins and giraffes. Like, it doesn't really scream music to me. So, that's why I didn't do too much actual physical decorating with the, uh, the scenery and gardens tab here. But I hope it still came across nice and musically themed. I, I think this is my favorite park yet, and I think it's because of how much kind of love I put into it. Uh, music is a big part of my life, and it has been since I've been, or since fourth grade. And I am 24 now, so it's definitely been a huge part of my life, and I was glad to incorporate it into this park. And our guests think so too. Thank you very much, guests, for all, all 1,359 of you coming to my park. I only needed 900, uh, but I definitely be knocked that out of the park. And then a park rating of 999. We've been plateaued at that since late June. So all of July, August, September, and I guess October. We're not all of October yet, but all of the past three months, entire full months, we have been flying high above our objective. So I am proud of us. <laughs> this park was fun to do. I hope to do more like this. I can't... Er, I will attempt to theme my parks this intensely uh, if you guys like it. Uh, but if I don't hear from anyone about this, I might just do it whenever I feel inspired to do so or whenever I feel like it. Uh, yeah. So I promised I was going to check this and I actually did remember, so go me. Uh, we're gonna check what the cat cars look like. Oh my gosh. That is so funny looking. I wish I could zoom in on those, but they have little googly eyes. <laughs> That's so cute. I love them. If we ever get those to start with on a park, those are definitely awesome. <laughs> I don't like cats. Sorry if I'm a dog person. Not afraid to admit it. I've only met one cat in my life that I enjoyed hanging out with, but these cats are so cute. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are going to strongly disagree with that, but that's okay. I'm not here to please everybody. I try, but I can't always succeed. Okay, but that's it for Sonata Springs. One last quick glance over our beautiful park. I love how this park came out. It's so nice. So many beautimous rides. Some of which we never really even came back to. Like, I was just glancing over everything and I had completely forgotten that we built our uh, Allegro Ego back here. It's just so tucked out of the way. But okay, guys, say goodbye to Sonata Springs. It has been wonderful. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making it. And let's go see what our next park has in store for us. Okay, we are now at the point where we can see every park, every park we have left. All right, so our next one is Millennium Mines. Convert a large abandoned mine from a tourist attraction into a theme park. Our objective is to have at least 800 guests in our park at the end of October, year three, with a park rating of at least 600. So that's the same time frame and park rating requirement as last park, uh, which is actually called Aqua Park. But this one... We need 100 less. Uh, and let's take a quick look over what is here. If I remember correctly, this park is pretty cool. Uh, and this is a good one to definitely theme because I'm pretty sure we start out with it. This is the, what's it called? Mine theming uh, scenery set. So we're definitely going to be using a lot of this stuff. It's going to get slightly repetitive because we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 options to build. But we're going to use them a lot. And I hope it's going to come out very nicely. So it looks like there's only a railroad here. But that's honestly a pretty awesome looking railroad. At least it goes through a lot of stuff it 
goes all over the park. And this is purely just for aesthetics and it's not a transport ride in a typical sense, or at least the sense I usually make them in. Uh, but because of that, it has a fantastic excitement rating for a railroad or a miniature railroad, I think as it's actually called. Yeah, miniature railroad. So we have a lot of work cut out for us in this park. This is sort of like starting from scratch, but not quite. Uh, and we're starting to get into the parks that I don't really remember doing. Uh, this looks familiar, but I can't tell if it's because it's being cycled through the, um, what is it, the uh, main menu? Or if I actually remember this park from my childhood. So either way, it still feels fairly new. So I'm excited for it, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here making our park from scratch. And I can already see this spot right here looks perfect for something because it's already sunken into the ground. So, okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you're looking forward to, uh, hope you are looking forward to our time here on Millennium Mines. Sorry, I forgot the name of the park. But all right, guys, until next time, have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Take care.